What's up everybody, DA Creations here, and this is going to be another Sharing My Thoughts video, which is going to be number 58, and I like to call this one, I'm banned from Halloween Express. Alright, yes, you guys saw it correctly, I'm banned from Halloween Express, and you guys are wondering why, what did he do, all that stuff, all these questions are going to be popping up. I asked some of my friends about it, and I know there's some people that just doesn't care. Uh, some people just laugh it off. At least there are some other people in this world that are actually like concerned and stuff like that actually do care. And thank you guys so much for that. Um, so the story behind this is how am I gonna start? Okay, this is at Bayfair Halloween Express. So yesterday, me and two of my friends went there, and we we're just looking at costumes and stuff like that, and makeup as well. And the manager comes in, saying that you know, do you guys need help or whatever? You know, just you know, your basic, typical customer service type of employee that would say that. But this is the manager we're talking about here. And me and my friend says, no, we're fine, and all that stuff. We'll need you when you know when we need your help. So, it says okay, and after that she continues to keep, you know, watching us, like assuming that we're gonna steal something, but we're just, you know, checking out the makeup, that's it. What's there to steal? I'm not gonna steal anything, it's not like I'm gonna rob your place and whatnot. You know, I know the difference between right and wrong. I know how America works. So, she keeps asking us questions like, you know, like what type of makeup you're looking for and all that stuff. It's like, dude, why don't you guys just like help somebody else out? Despite that it's just only us three there. So, you know, just keep on talking and all that stuff. And then after that, we left. And the manager tells me like, just wait here while two of my friends leave. So, right when my two friends left, she tells me that she's uncomfortable of me being here. I'm like, why? And my mind's like, why? What did I even do? I just look at the costumes and stuff like that and makeup. And after that, she says that I'm banned from the store. She doesn't want me back here anymore. Okay, fine. I don't care, but at least it shows how she, her true for true colors. Do I look... I'm not trying to be racist saying like, do I look like a black guy to you or something? Am I going to steal something? Rob the place? No. You know, I respect people of what they have to say and whatnot. I'm not going to even bother to ask why am I banned from the store. Like, I, I dealt with haters with all my life. She's just one bitch that I has to deal with. And she also said that I've been there every day. Let me... Really? Every day? So are you saying that every Filipino guy that, that comes into your store and you assume that's me? Let me straighten this up right now for you, alright? I've been there four times, not exactly the same days. First time I was there was the day of the opening of Halloween Express. I went there because I want to apply. Because I didn't want to work at my recent job anymore. Second time I was there, I um, I was trying to find a costume that that I wanted, but they didn't have it. The third time I was there, I um, dropped out some flyers. That only took like about like a few seconds, and then I left. And the fourth time I was there was me and two of my friends, which was yesterday. So you're telling me that I've been there every single day, and you feel uncomfortable? me being there they're not my bodyguards those are just my friends so let's get that straight right now it's it's really stupid so what's gonna happen next or if, if you see this video or are you gonna you know report me and say like you know oh he's talking about me blah 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 I know where he's coming from and all this stuff that's the guy right there that's the guy that made me feel uncomfortable so what later tonight the police will knock on my door saying like you know 
Uh, we have a complaint that the manager at Halloween Express says this uh, to her, blah, 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 and we have to arrest you. For what? I was just there just to look at the costumes and stuff like that. Arrest me all you want for a wrongful arrest. I can fight for that. I can fight for that, and you know what? The manager there, if you're watching this from Halloween Express, I can get you fired from your job and your position. And the rest of the assets that's there for uh, Halloween Express. Just to show how, you know, I don't know the word that I'm looking for, but, you know, disrespectful, you know, assuming that I'm, you know, a, a convict or something, that I want to do something to your place or whatnot. It's stupid. All right, so I don't care if I get a like or dislike on this video, I'm just pointing out the facts of what she has said to me. That being said, like this video, share this video, don't forget to subscribe. 44 subscribers, bump that up to 100, no rush on that. This is just a rant of what I need to say. And lastly, the question to you guys is, have you guys been to Halloween Express here in San Leandro at Bayfair Mall? Have you guys been treated unfairly towards the manager? Comment down below. Um, I I have seen one part aside of her that this is one uh, African American old woman that just wants to get a costume, and the last thing that she said is you're you're gonna lose customers. I agree. She will. She will lose tons of customers if she acts like this. All I can tell you guys is this: do not work there at Halloween Express. I had a bad experience there, and. She was very rude and very disrespectful, so... But, that's just me. I don't care if you guys are gonna take my word for it or not. People like her just need to be... not around. Alright? So that's all I gotta say for now. And I'll see you guys later.